Alright guys, so with Cassette Piece out, I figured it was as good a time as any to go into the game's type chart system, and we did do something like this a few years back where I explained which types gave each other buffs and debuffs and stuff like that, but we did not previously have the exact interactions that would take place as a result of these type matchups. Now, if you're confused, Cassette Beast is a bit of a different game. Instead of fire doing less damage to water or more damage to plant, in Cassette Beasts, if a type is advantageous to another type, it'll actually give that type a debuff and the opposite is true in that the enemy will get a buff if they're the advantageous type. Certain typings will also completely change as a result of these interactions, like plastic types changing into poison types when getting hit by certain attacks as well. In this video, we're going to be explaining how these type interactions work and what exact buffs and debuffs and transmutations occur when these types interact with one another. After this video, you should have a pretty good idea of what to expect from each type and how to strategize accordingly. So as per the usual, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Okay, so there are 14 types in Cassette Beasts, plus something called Typeless, which just generally transforms into the type of the user. And we also have the Glitter type, which any type, if hit with that type, will become that type. And when hitting any type, they will become Glitter types. The concept behind this is that when there's glitter, it spreads everywhere. Some of these types will have the same effect to anyone they interact with, whilst others will have slightly varying ones. So we'll be going through each of the attacking interactions now. It'll be a lot easier if I just show you guys the interactive type chart that they have on the Cassette Beasts wiki page and sort of go through each one individually and give you any sort of context from there. Alright guys, so we're here on the Cassette Beast official wiki and we have an interactive type chart that'll showcase all of the uh, interactions that the types can make. Now, do note, the columns represent the attacking type while the row represents the defending type. Now, unlike a typical type chart that you'd see for like Pokemon or Nexamon, the green doesn't mean that the attacking type's super effective, in fact it means the opposite. Uh, for, so for example, an air type will actually buff an astral type when attacking it, so astral actually resists air in that sense. So Green is good for the uh, defending type, red is good for the attacking type, and yellow represents a transformation. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be going through these pretty much one by one. Uh, I I'm going to add any context where necessary, but do note that I will have a status effect guide at some point in the future as well. But uh, here you can see if Beast hits glass, uh, it'll create glass shards. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, there's not a lot of glass uh, types in this game. Most of the time you're going to be seeing glass is with one particular uh, monster or if you get transformed into glass. So I'm not 100% sure what the glass shards does, if I'm being quite honest. Um, also, you can see with glitter type. So if anybody hits a glitter type, that glitter type becomes the type that it was hit with. See, so beast hits glitter, the glitter becomes beast. Now, there are no glitter type cassette beasts. The only way to become a glitter type is to be hit by glitter bomb, which is a move, or if you catch a bootleg, that is a glitter type. So only bootlegs, aka shinies, can be glitter type if you happen to get one of that shiny type. Now with air, you can see if it hits astral, the idea is that astral, uh, you know, uses a natural energy and it gets boosted by the air. Uh, if air hits fire, it debuffs fire uh, with its attacking stats. Lightning actually will gain the multi-target status when air is aff affected by it. So basically, multi-target makes you hit two moves. So if you're playing Pokemon Double Battles, for example, uh, Tackle hits one target. Well, now it hits two while you have this active. Uh, plants will get less AP per turn. And glass types will get resonance, which, if I'm not mistaken, resonance is uh, if you get three stacks of that, you just die. Uh, when Astral attacks uh, air, it debuffs it the same way it kind of gets buffed. Uh, so you'll get the AP drain status. Um, AP boost against other Astrals, so Astrals kind of have a, uh, you know, an interesting relationship with each other. They buff each other. Um, you're going to see AP drain again, AP drain again, and AP drain again. So all of Astral's interactions have to do with AP. With Earth hitting Astral, again, AP boost because Astral gets boosted off of natural elements. Uh, again, fire anytime for the most part, unless it's like Astral or something similar. Generally speaking, Fire will lose its uh, attacking stats. Uh, Unitarget is the opposite of multi-target. So what happens is all your two hitting moves, like your spread damage moves, will only hit one. And then one hitting moves that hit one, like Tackle, like that targets one, that'll actually have lower accuracy. So, you know, a really bad debuff to find yourself with. Uh, and then if you hit a Plastic type with an Earth type attack, 
uh, its evasion goes down and its speed goes down, which is kind of interesting because you'd think plastic would actually beat Earth since, like, plastic, you know, is, like, destroying the Earth. But no, Earth beats plastic in this game. Uh, with fire, uh, so this is kind of cool. If you hit an air type with a fire type attack, that air type gets a wall with two stacks on it. So you just, like, buff the crap out of them. Like, that's a really good buff to get. So, like, if you have a fire type with, like, a weak fire type move, or even, like, spit or something that's typeless, but it's a fire type, you might want to use that on your on your air types just to get a free wall up, basically, with, you know, minor, minor damage. Uh, AP boost to astral again. If you hit an ice type, it becomes water type after melting it. That makes sense. Uh, you get, you'll burn metal types, you'll burn, uh, plant types, you'll change plastic into poison, like I mentioned earlier, you will burn, uh, poison types, uh, so, so you can actually, you'll change the plastic type, and then you'll, you'll debuff them after, uh, and then if you hit a water type, you'll actually give them a healing steam, which is kind of like a, uh, regenerative, uh, sorry, regenerative ability. Um, so every turn they'll gain a little bit of health. Ice will debuff air, it'll chill them, and ruin their accuracy, so that's actually a really good one too. Uh, multi-target again on lightning, ice is weak to lightning, which I kind of, I find kind of interesting. I'm not sure what the, uh, logic is behind that. I, I could see, like, lightning would, like, fry the ice, I guess, in a way, like, it would melt it, maybe? I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, and then if you hit a water type, it actually turns them into an ice type and flinches them, so they don't just get a, uh, transmutation, they also get a debuff. Uh, and also, do keep in mind, while you're playing, like, this sounds complicated, but while you're playing, you will get indicators for what everything does. So, like, don't let this, um, like, overwhelm you. Like, <laughs> you don't have to remember everything by the end of this video. I'm just giving you an idea of what, like, the sort of, like, things that can happen are. Don't, like, think you have to memorize this, because the game will literally show you the icons, and, and it'll be up or down based on the type matchup. You don't have to memorize this by any means. Uh, if you hit a lightning, t an air type, they become conductive. Conductive's kind of weird. I'm still experimenting with it a little bit, but it looks like anytime you get hit by an electric type attack, if you're conductive, you'll also take damage. So if my ally is not conductive, it gets hit by a lightning type attack. My conductive ally will also get, like, splash damage from it. Uh, if you hit lightning on earth, it actually becomes glass type, which I find very interesting. Um, if you hit ice again, they become conductive. Oh, maybe that's why, because ice is like water. That makes sense. Uh, again, steel, or sorry, metal, conductive, same thing. Conductive again. So electric just, or sorry, lightning just conducts everything. Uh, and then you actually will buff plastic types by giving them static, which uh, creates contact damage whenever they hit something directly. Uh, metal will debuff uh, astral types because astral types are weak against anything that's unnatural. Uh, that'll cause them to be berserk, which is just like this game's version of taunted. Uh, earth types will lose their defensive stats. Uh, ice type, same thing. Uh, buff, again, conducted with uh, lightning there. And then uh, you'll get some glass shards with uh, glass type. With plant, you have seeded, which is leech. So when you get leeched, what happens is it's just like leech seed from Pokemon. You gain HP while they lose HP. Uh, if you hit an ice type, sorry, a fire type, you'll actually create smoke for some reason. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but you'll create, I, I guess it burns up and creates smoke, whatever. Anyway, they get evasion, so you don't want to give that to a fire type. Um, Unitarget, again, we've talked about that. Then you have the melee and ranged attacks up, and then uh, debuff uh, leached again on water. So, you know, makes sense. Plant doesn't want to deal with poison, but it's good against water. Makes sense, right? Plastic, again, AP drain on astrals. Uh, smoke on fire, again. Uh, Unitarget, same thing on lightning. So, Plastic and um, plant actually have a lot of similarities, which is kind of interesting. Then you have poison. Uh, it defeats, uh, again, Berserk on um, Astral over here. It uh, bu So it, it gives actually... Uh, okay, so po you'll get poison tipped damage, basically. It's like another contact thing with Earth. Um, same uh, with fire. They'll actually boost AP if it's hit by poison. Again, another tipped uh, buff when it comes to uh, when it comes to metal here. And then uh, you'll actually get absorbed on. You'll start absorbing. Sorry. Um, sorry, no, poison. Sorry, you get poison. I don't know why it's called absorbed, but you get poisoned if you're a plant type. That makes sense, right? Uh, with water, you'll uh, get an AP buff. Uh, you'll be giving Astral an AP buff. You'll be uh, lowering the defense of Earth type, lowering the attacks of uh, fire types, buffing ice types. So, so even though ice transmutates water and flinches it, it, it does receive buffs when hit by it. So that makes sense because if you you know pour water on a on a fort, 
it just or, or like an icy snow fort it just gets more icy right uh, multi-target against lightning we've seen that before again down for the defenses against metal because you know it's rusting uh and then you know you'll give uh plant some healing which makes sense healing leaf is just it's not leech it's just like healing the same way that uh the water coating is or the steam coating for water uh and then glass uh doesn't have any type interactions when it's attacking except against lightning which it uh debuffs it so glass is going to be a good type when it comes to just like not having a lot of interactions that you have to worry about too much uh you just want to avoid these three which you know that it seems like a lot but considering it doesn't buff anything might be kind of good and then glitter again will turn anything it hits into a glitter type and that's pretty much it for this entire type chart i know this video is going to be a little bit on the longer side because we're doing this kind of uh, unscripted casual format for the second half but i do think it's really important that you understand these um type matchups are not about oh fire does more damage to plant ice does more damage to plant uh you know water does more damage to fire no this is about getting a strategic edge edge you can use these attacks on your own monsters on purpose you could switch into certain attacks in order to get buffs on purpose uh you could switch into certain attacks to get transmutated on purpose there's a lot of different uh things you can do with this type chart and it's honestly like it's complicated but it's also not because of the way they present it in game so i don't think you guys will have a lot of trouble with it but it is important to sort of understand it so if you guys do want to stay up to date on all the cassette beasts uh, news guides and stuff like that um i'm your one-stop shop i will be covering it like crazy um daily monster taming content on this channel of course i got my monster tamer news and all that stuff and uh yeah guys uh check out my patreon as well uh special thanks to them especially jim hamilton drogo's dark persona exodus and candy Morunci. and uh we'll see you next time Peace out.